Hey guys, the 5 Vega Series A. I've been waiting a long time to do this review. This is the last cigar from the Humidor 451 combo that I got from Cigars International. I think I've saved the best for last. Or if I haven't saved the best for last, I've saved the one that I've anticipated the most for last, at the very least. I have never had the 5 Vega Series A. I have had a few of their other lines, so I am very excited to try this out. Let's check it out. Supposedly this is a medium to full bodied cigar. Uh, it has a Costa Rican Maduro wrapper, which as you can see is just lovely looking. I mean it's soft, kind of a buttery feel to it, a little bit oily. The uh, filler tobaccos, which are from, oh, uh, actually I think it's a three country filler, uh, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and Honduras. Uh, those are supposedly aged for four years on their own. And then the cigar, once it's rolled, is aged for an additional six months before it is brought to you. Let's talk about this smell. This thing smells amazing. It is a sweet, cedary, creamy aroma that comes off of this thing. And that's part of the reason why I've been so excited to smoke it. So, it's a little uneven. If I had one bad thing to say about it, as you probably saw in the little picture there, there's a little bit of an unevenness to this uh, side of it here. So that's the only bad thing I have to say about it so far. All right, let's get lit. Extremely loose draw. I'm a little disappointed by that because it's too loose for my taste. The initial taste, the first thing that hits right on the draw is a little of that cedar that you can smell in it. And then the finish is just like a real rich dark chocolate, honestly. A toasty dark chocolate. All right, we're smoking down. Check back with you in a little bit. About 20 minutes in. A little over an inch down. Definitely not a perfect burn by any means, but not uneven. We're just about to that imperfection that I noted earlier, and so that's kind of causing the ash to be a little crooked here. So definitely not gonna expect that to hold on much longer. But let's talk about the flavor. That chocolatiness, gone. The sweetness has remained. It's got this super mellow, smooth, rich, creamy sweetness. Cedar is still noted there because obviously it's been aged in cedar, so I'm sure that's why. But the cedary flavor there, along with that rich, sweet tobacco, super mellow. It is super mellow. It doesn't really seem like a full body to me. I'm gonna have to call it a medium at this point. And there's the ash drop that I was expecting. The loose draw is still kind of putting me off a little bit. So I just kind of have to be real conscious of drawing real slow. Other than that, looking forward to see how the rest of it goes. Just about to take the label off. A little bit of a mess going on here with the ash. Just kind of doing its own thing. Not real clean, but still good flavors. Not quite as good as the last time I checked in. It's uh, a little harsher than it was from the last check-in. I was saying it was real smooth and everything. A little harsher on the palate. The sweetness has died down, and now there's just kind of a straight tobacco. A little bit of a little bit of spice, the top of the mouth, roof of the mouth type of a spice going on there. Go ahead and take the label off here, carefully, of course. Look at that beautiful gold label. Yeah, just the uh, just that cedar flavor that was there before, and just that rich tobacco is still there. The sweetness is pretty much entirely gone. All right, guys, we'll smoke this down to the nub. We'll check in with you one more time before we call it a night. All right, guys, starting to heat up here towards the end. Just about ready to call it a night. We continued basically with what I said at the last check-in, you know. Uh, toasting up kind of a spicy, earthy flavor, cedar flavor throughout, real sweet on the initial third or so, a little bit of dark chocolate flavor towards the front, 
a little bit more just sweetness and just that smooth, just beautiful aged tobacco flavor through the first third. The second two thirds really have just been more along the lines of just kind of like a dry, earthy tobacco flavor, a little bit of spice in there, and then just that rich, rich aged tobacco flavor throughout the whole thing. Not real complex, but just with those subtle changes there, smooth throughout, decent burning throughout here. You can see here it evened out a lot just now after my last check in there. It is really quite warm, so I am gonna call that a night. A great performance out of that cigar. Real happy with it. I will try it again for sure. So I recommend that you guys check it out as well. I'm gonna put the link in the description, as always, along with the link to the humidor combo that I got it in. If you guys wanna go check that out as well. Don't forget, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like to see a lot more of these uh, cigar reviews. I'm gonna keep going. I've gotten a lot of really great feedback from you guys. I really appreciate the kind things that have been said. I'm glad you guys are liking what you're seeing. So I've got lots more reviews come up. I've got a humor chock full of great cigars that I'm really looking forward to reviewing for you guys. So keep looking for those. I'm gonna try and crank them out as fast as possible, but I'm busy. So as soon as I can, I'll get you guys some more videos. That about wraps it up. Give the Five Vegas Series A a try, and we'll catch you next time. Happy smoking.